Because you know what? <laughs> I'm always looking for what the joke. What have you gotten that right. And it's always there. Okay, this is for you, ladies. Right. Okay. <laughs> I brought this for you. And this, right. it's a cheap thing, and it'll, it'll rock your world. So we, I love the, the hot pink bag. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. No. Listen, no. no. Listen no. you don't even have to put on a big show. You Do you want us to put these on? I think well, I know what this is. Do with it, it what is. you will. It's a, Keep it for later if no, you like. No, seriously, we can you want do me it, to... We it's can a do one that. size fits all. It is it? You really want us... Okay, okay. here we are. You know, okay, I would never do this for anybody else. I don't know. I don't know if this is... Are you serious? And it's hurting my nose a little bit. You don't even have to do anything fancy. But you ladies live in an urban area. Yeah in traffic as you are all the time. Yeah, okay, you yeah. keep this in your ashtray there that you're not <laughs> using for ashes. You just slip it on when you're in traffic. But you don't even have I to do it. I can't breathe is though. Yeah, okay. Susan? You just there is. Okay. Susan, okay. You okay. Show us what yes, to do. Yeah, what yeah. to do with this? Here's yeah. what you do. Oh you go my. like this. So you're I'm stuck, you're stuck, I can't you're stuck in traffic. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You're stuck in traffic. You just slip it on. You, you, no reaction. You're just sitting there like this. You're going to start to notice. And now watch. This is what, okay. You just go like this. We need to That's practice. That's even better. What do you do? Oh, just clean people. Oh, you just, just practice. Just okay, everybody go this everybody way. Okay. okay, what are we doing? One, two, two three. three. Look this so, way. Look this way. And then a peace sign. Peace. Peace. Like this. <laughs> And then L, oh, and then you kind of do it like a. Like that, and, that yeah, too. and someone's gonna say you are not gonna believe oh, what I, I saw yeah, and made it today. Somebody go what? What? what are you looking at? What? What are you looking at? Exactly. What? What are you looking at? What's the problem? Yeah. Okay. And they're gonna say I saw a mains oh. today in a car. <laughs> you are not gonna believe what she did today. Wearing so you're saying nose. laughter and, and joy can get you through really any circumstance. Completely. Do you know what Susan left me the last time she was here? Okay, you have to see. Oh no. This, yes, this was my little parting, parting gift. Now I hope you don't think this is inappropriate. Oh well, yeah, sure they will. Oh! <laughs> it's an eggling, an eggling chicken. <laughs> but Susan, Susan, that's like a dollar. If, it, if the girls, dollar. if the girls will remove their mugs. Well, uh -oh. what's going on? Okay. We've got a show and tell for okay. you. Okay. Oh, All right. No. Because I mean, what? the reality is, depression is still an Achilles heel. I deal yeah. with it every day. Every yeah. day. Yeah. My husband oh. said to me today. What's the first thing you think of in the morning? I'm not kidding. I, I, I just got to be real with you. I said, I sit on the side of my bed and I think, today's going to be tough, but I can do it today. And that's no lie. I think about it because it is. It, you know, being in a wheelchair, it's not a, a big pack of fun. Ah, there you what, go. What, oh, what no. is, what, what's going on? What is, oh, what, what is this? I can see my husband's this face. Is this is Not in our house. <laughs> <laughs> This is like a whole like the so morning of are jokes we the, and toys and, and, like, and what is this? But this really is it comes from this red noses to a rolling it's dogs. It's looking for the joke and it's always there. You know, there are people right okay, now Rover. watching this show yeah, who have dealt with cancer, who who say you wouldn't believe the funny stuff that happened to me while I had cancer. Mm -hmm. And there is, there is funny things that can happen. So you just have to change your mindset because I'm, I'm saying that it. most people would be like, yeah. I'm feeling depressed and I have every right to be a victim and to kind of woe is me. But you're saying you change your thinking. It's having, it's, it's looking to feel good when you don't feel good and when you don't even want to feel good. Mm. And don't tell me there aren't times where you don't, you just don't want to. Now we know that in the book of Romans, we're told that really daily we have to renew our minds. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now, how and important is that? The whole re daily renewing mm -hmm. of your mind thing for you. That's right. I have to do it every day. I have to say, to, I, I deal with depression all the time. My husband deals with depression all the time. But we have now, honestly, we have totally renewed our minds how and that do you we do look that? for. What does that mean? How you, everybody's not going to be Bill Cosby. No, we're not comedians. But what we can do is develop a funny eye and to start looking at life and see the joy that is there. And there is. Just being with your family. You know, you can tell us jokes. I, you know what? I, I was going to say, now, Anne, tell us your most embarrassing moment. That's the funniest <laughs> thing. I won't make you do that. But. Oh, you know what? That's part of what we do at our conferences. Yeah. We share That's our most embarrassing moments. Yeah, so. And what yeah. are they? And they're all usually tragedy of some type. Mm -hmm. Do you know yes. what I mean? Oh, yeah. We oh, know. you got something in your teeth or something like that. But that's, you don't, you don't. Okay. You don't. <laughs> I was about to check. Okay, but thanks, Susan. I, I know I you tell me. I made every, all of my friends pray. I said, pray for me that I do not have broccoli in my teeth. <laughs>
There was I? no broccoli in the green room yeah. this morning. So, I, so your red you're shoes good. communication. So this yeah. is you go and speak all over, all over. Canada. And you would and not believe what God has done. I thought when I lost my job, I can't even tell you how I cried. You think I don't cry? I cried and cried and cried and cried about losing my job because that's all I had trained for was working Identity. with children. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that mm -hmm. was everything was all wrapped up. I had gotten a great career. I was well thought of in the city. I think so. And I was well thought of in the city. And now I was going to sit by the front door and watch people go to work and just sit there and watch because the world go by because, because of my MS. MS. That's right. Mm -hmm. But now you wouldn't believe it. And I've argued with God so much about this. Well, surely there must be somebody else better than me to go out and speak because I'm not a Bible student and you don't want me doing that. Mm -hmm. And he says, you know what? Yeah, I do. Because he's got me out mm. all the time doing this. Now, I want to ask you, Susan, in those darkest moments, in those times before you get out of bed in the morning, where is God in the darkness? Right there. Mm. Right there. And you know what? A lot of times you can't see him. You can't see him. You know, I'm, am I going to lie to you and say that I, I turn, you know, and there he is lying there beside me? No, but I know that he's there with me mm -hmm. to face every single day. And there's nothing that he's going to give me that day that I can't do. And there's lots of times, especially when I had the cancer, that I thought, I can't do this. I remember, I remember getting a, a hospital gown on. I look terrible in pale blue. <laughs> <laughs> pale colors do not look good on me And either. that's the worst thing about a hospital experience. <laughs> you gotta be on one of those things. And I remember getting this thing on and just shaking, being so afraid I was going in for a radiation treatment and thinking, I can't do this, I can't do this. And it's like a voice right beside me. Sometimes that happens and that happened to me there in that little room. And he said, you can do this one appointment. And you know what? It's that I can't do the whole thing. I can't do the whole six mm -hmm. months of chemo, but I can do that one appointment. And mm -hmm. he's there every time at that one appointment. And how many were there, Susan? I the had journey? 15 rounds of radiation. I had six months of chemo and two operations. And it has been 10 years. Mm. So for anybody out there who's just been diagnosed with cancer, you know what? Mm. It's not over. Yeah. Uh, 10 years. Now, am I still afraid of it? All the time. Every time I have to go for a mammogram, I'm terrified. Mm -hmm. But he's there that one time. He's always yeah. there. Yeah. Always there yes. with you. And we are so glad you are here with oh, us, thank Susan. Thank you. You are just <laughs> such, such a bright spot in our day. Literally. Literally. Yeah. Bright spot in our day. We would never ever do this for anything hey, else. you use that in the car, okay? okay? You've got wow. to promise Just me. be warned, okay. drivers on the <laughs> That's highways. Right. We're coming. <laughs> we get in any accidents. No. And you know, I just want to echo what Susan shared as well, that in your darkest times, no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're facing, God is there with you. If you'll only invite him to be, he'll never push his way into our mm -hmm. lives. It's, it's invitation only. He says, oh, I'm here, but I'm not going to come in unless you invite me in. And so I just want to encourage you to open your heart to God today, no matter what you're going through, no matter what diagnosis you've just received, God will be with you there today. He'll be with you there tomorrow and the next day. You can always depend on him. And if you want to give our prayer lines a call, you know what? Over a thousand people every day call that prayer line and talk to one of our prayer partners. They are there 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There is always a prayer partner there to answer the call, to pray with you, to open up God's word and share maybe something that you need specifically in your life for, for today. And we would love to be there for you. It's our privilege to do that.